So you guys can get to know us and we're just gonna get right into it. We are doing We're playing 21 questions. And yeah, this is like we haven't answered the questions <laughs> to each other, so this is authentic answers. Obviously, yep. some of them we already know about each other, yep. some we don't. Um but yeah, come get to know us. Let's Rock, just... paper, scissors, who's first? Okay. Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh fuck, I'm <laughs> slow anyway. Yeah, I win still. <laughs> I mean I won because I'm wrong. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's do it again. Hell. All right. One, one two, three. One, one two, three. three. Oh, man, I get to, I get not to. Not that it matters. No, it Go on. It was just a bit more exciting. <laughs> okay. And that is basically us in a nutshell is dumb and dumber. <laughs> Nothing ever goes right or is planned. But okay, so how many siblings do you have? I have one brother. He's six years older than me. Um... And yeah, basically grew up being very protective of me. Um, he was very cool. I was not cool. So anytime I got in trouble or someone bullied me, it was like, um, do you know who my brother is? And cause he was a rollerblader. This was obviously in the nineties. He was a rollerblader, really good rollerblader. And, um, cool guy. he was very cool. It was mm -hmm. like, if anyone heard that I was Igor's sister, it was like, oh, you're Igor. Oh, all right. I'll leave you alone. So yeah. I have three siblings. I've got two sisters and a brother. Between me and the youngest, there's five years between us, so we're all really close in age. So awesome. Um, I know, so awesome. <laughs> like, I was the eldest, and, you know, mum and dad was always protective or strict with me. Um, I wouldn't say... Oh, I would say I was a cool one. Like, I remember my sisters would be like, oh, my friends, my friends, like, oh, you're Carol's sister, or... I feel like the older one is always a bit cooler, probably to the younger siblings because do you know what I mean? You're They're looking, looking up, up yeah. to them. But at the same time, I don't feel like I was cool. I wasn't a yeah. cool kid. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was cool. I think she was cool. She had a lot of friends. Nah, I wasn't was cool. Okay. <laughs> I like what? this question. What now? Who's your celebrity crush? Oh. Your first, sorry, your first, who was your first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush was Nelly. Like Again, the, cool. Wait till you hear mine. Like when, <laughs> when he had like the bandaid on his face. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was it. Um, so I never had a crush on Nelly. <laughs> Even in that era. Um, my first celebrity crush was Michael Bolton. This is a true story. Um, little bit of background info. I was three years old when I started liking Michael Bolton. Um, I'm rambling here, but like, I just feel like you need to know this about me. This is important <laughs> information. So my parents were new to the country had no idea of like English music, whatever. And I was at home on a Saturday morning. My parents plonked me in front of the TV and I was watching video hits and I saw Michael Bolton. How am I supposed to live without you as a three year old? Like I literally remember the day, like it was, was yesterday. It. It's so weird. And it's when he had the long curly hair and I was just like, l fell in love with his music, obviously. And then just the obsession grew. And it was like, everyone knew that I loved Michael Bolton. Um, so yeah, Michael Walton. Oh, shows your age. <laughs> oh, oh, she wants to go there. All right, <laughs> All right. What is your pet peeve? I have so many. Uh, the first one that I thought about. For me or for yeah, you? Yeah, for you. Yeah, go on. Cold food. Oh, but is that a pet peeve? You hate it whenever I leave my toast out. But I feel like... Oh, like my food is out. I do hate cold food, let that be known. But I feel like a pet peeve is more like... A personal thing. Things thing. that irritate you. Maybe that someone else does. 
Should we Google? Because I have a lot. Yeah, okay. First thing that comes to your mind. Pip, pip. You go first because I'm thinking. Top three. Okay, you move three. Um, I can only really think of two. Slow people. Like as in walking mm. in front of me slow, mm-hmm. driving in front of me slow, mm. all the above. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, I have so many things that you're Top three. Me. Just top three. I can't even... They're not even coming to my mind. You say one while I think of the next one. Okay. Flaky people. Okay. Um, people that tell me to do things. And I don't want to do oh, forcing me. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I really have an authority thing. Yeah. Like if you mm. tell me to, or like someone tells you to calm down when you're angry, like And you get more fired up. Let yeah. me be angry and yeah. then we can you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's one for me too. And I have so many. As soon as this video is finished, I'm gonna mm. be like, Oh that annoys me, that mm. annoys me, like mm. um I can't even think of a third. Hold on, I have to have one. I'll cut it here. So that we can think. It'll come back to you. Because, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold you on. can just scream it out when we come back to it. Okay. Okay. That annoys me that I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I get all the growing up questions? Okay, so what was your dream job growing up? Okay, this is going to sound so stupid. Yeah. I never had a real dream job except being a mum. That's... That's not silly. Yeah. That's sweet. I, I mean, know. you're a bit weird for not what, like even when you're a kid, yeah, you have nah, something that you nothing. wanted to do. No, nah, like kids had like being a doctor or really? being, being a policeman. Like really? I no, nah, I wanted to be a give me a baby. Wow. Yeah. Um, I always wanted to do something in entertainment. Like I thought I was gonna be a singer. Mm. Mm. Couldn't really dance, like no. <laughs> I mean that was never gonna I've seen be some me. <laughs> Um, yeah, something in entertainment growing up. And then as I got older, I thought I wanted to do acting because I realized I couldn't sing. Um, but then, yeah, I got, fell into DJing, but we'll get into that later. So yeah, childhood, childhood, like I always wanted to do something in entertainment. Like I always was that kid who was doing something, putting on magic shows, putting on dance shows. Yeah, I was not that kid. Yeah, I was... Let's check it up because... Where can I put mine when they're finished? Yeah, I'll throw it out for you. Thank you. Um, okay. (laughs) Alright, next one. Hmm. What country are you from or what is your nationality? Well, same question. Okay. Um, I am Macedonian and I was born in Macedonia, Mm. but was brought to the country when I was just one year old. Mm. So both parents Macedonian, blood in, blood out, like all the way back as far as I know. (laughs) Okay. Well, I'm Chinese Vietnamese. Um, I was born here. So yeah, that's it. The end. Have you, have you been back there? Uh, only in Vietnam, to Vietnam. Mm. Like I was 12 when I went. So you don't really know much about your Chinese heritage. No. Insert video here. (laughs) Him, you would not be able to understand that. Like, sh- but surely that doesn't mean anything. That's like... no, it does. It it means welcome home. <laughs> no, I'm, How? I'm not joking. And why is there a mouse? Like, okay, it's... no, it's a rat because you're the year of the rat. I'm a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dead. <sighs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> Nothing. Pathetic. <laughs> What do you do for work? Um, so I'm in like administration for accounting and audit. Do you like your job? Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> I like all jobs. What do you mean? As long as I get like I get along with people, yeah. like the job itself doesn't phase me. Oh, that's so funny because I'm so the opposite of that. Yeah. Like I if I oh. And I hate most jobs unless I'm working for myself. Um, I'm a DJ. Some of you might already know that. Um, yeah, I've been a di- well. I, am I still a DJ? I don't. I don't know. That's I questionable know. now. It's, yeah, you've been unemployed. <laughs> unemployed for a long time, but yeah, um, I've done a lot, many, many, many jobs mm. previously mm. to being a DJ or during whilst being a DJ before I did it full time, mm. but I've been doing it full time for, 
I don't know, prior to these last two years of COVID, I would say I was doing it for like maybe two or three years before that full time ish, something like that, mm. give or take. And I love my job, <laughs> and I miss my job. <laughs> oh, 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 which one do I take? Is it my turn? Yeah. yeah. If you could come back to Earth as an animal, what would you be and why? Okay. So, if I could come back as any animal... Can I, I guess before you... Okay, here you go. Why do I feel like you're going to say dolphin? Oh my gosh! Is it? Like, one of them is a dolphin. Yeah, that's my... Like, I'm stuck between... Oh, I'm actually stuck good. between a dolphin and a dog. Oh. Like I want to be. But what if you were a dog in like? No, no, but that's the thing. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like I want to be a dog that is like brought up Pampered. in a loved up family. Like I'm like on the my beach. Dog. Like I have to. Like I oh. want to be one of those dogs on the beach, oh. like running around on the beach, happy. Muffin hates the beach. No, nah, well I'm gonna be a dog that is happy on the beach, like super happy. Have you ever seen a happy dog on the beach? Yes. Yeah, that's me. That's not my dog. <laughs> or a dolphin. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why I'd be a dolphin because it's just so free. Well, they're also cool. really intelligent. You know that they're one of the most intelligent animals. I don't know if I am intelligent or not. But maybe you'd what? come back as a. I mean. I don't believe in reincarnation, yeah. but this is an ima imaginary world we're talking about mm. here. Um, what do you think uh, I'm going to say? Not a macaw, like a bird. A bird. A I bird? Don't, I don't know which kind of bird, but I would love to be a bird. Like because, a wild bird? Yeah. Uh, well, unless it's a bird that I'm looking <laughs> yeah. after because that bird's going to be spoiled. But yeah, a wild bird, I just feel like imagine being like... Free. Free, be able mm. to fly anywhere, mm. like, imagine, like, being, yeah, like a macaw in South America, like, mm. just flying around, living mm. your best life. Mm. Yeah, okay. I think a bird would be cool. I always have flying dreams as well. I think it would be so cool to fly. Mm. Fun fact, mm. I think I've told you this story, but when I was little, yeah. I was a very naive kid. Very naive. Like, I, I feel like kids, like, sort of bullied or teased not teased me, but just mm. sort of like egged on my naiveness. Mm. So this, um, there was these trolls. You obviously know mm. the little troll dolls. Yep. And there was these ones that you could get that had like a gem in the belly. And somebody at school told me if you get the troll with the gem in the belly that you, um, if you make a wish, it comes true. So I say? made my mom like take me to, it was, what um, man? Franklin's. Do you remember Franklin's? What? It was a supermarket, Franklin's. Yeah. Made my mum take me there, bought a troll with the gem in the belly, went home, stood on my bed holding the troll and was like, I wish I could fly. And then tried to jump off the bed. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work, obviously. I was like devastated because I really thought I would, I was going to be able to fly. Shame. Like I believed it. Shame. And I think they laughed at me the next day when oh. I told them. Bitches. Ugh. All right. <laughs> what is your favorite Disney ca cartoon movie? Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Um, Lion King for me. I love Lion King too. Yeah. But... Like when Sarah and I went to watch it, mm. uh, the real the real life one, we just cried. Oh. Like, yeah. I actually Lame. saw my, like the original Lion King at the movies with my mom. Oh, did she cry? Because we took see. Sarah's mum too, and Sarah's mum was crying too. The, the original one. Oh, the original the one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What is your favourite TV show? <laughs> you know I love this question. Yeah, you I love this. TV shows. She does. So, oh. I'm going to say Sons of Anarchy. Really? Yeah, I need... Always. Oh, did not know that about Really? Me. No. Sons of Anarchy and then Power. The end. Like, I didn't grow up watching this is TV, my TV. disappointed face. Like, I, I never really grew up watching TV. Like, the only shows I've watched was favorites. Neighbours. This is tragic, guys. I was home and away, well, girl. like... So that is tragic already. I'm seeing cracks. <laughs> or the other I'm thing was, like, cracks. Entourage. Like, yeah, but nah. Like, those two, if I, if I think favourite TV show, Sons of Anarchy, straight away, first one. Like you would watch that over and over again, yes. though? Yes, yeah. yeah. Have you watched it? Not my thing. Do you think it's my thing? No, definitely not. <laughs> not my thing. Anyways. Okay. 
Um, I have so many. She has a handful. But I, I'll give you my top two and then we'll just quickly mention the others because... I can't even guess because I know. Yeah, she knows. Um, Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, what's up? Uh, and Dawson's Creek, mm -hmm. my top two. Mm -hmm. um, I just got to mention this because you know I'm all about like girl power. Growing up, I just remember watching Buffy and mm. you know this, so your mm. reaction's not going to be authentic. Mm. Um, but growing up, I just remember seeing the ads on TV for when it was starting mm. and then like being excited to watch this new TV show. And it was just so cool to see like a female lead who was badass, kicking ass. Mm. Um, it was, the show was about her like literally being a boss ass bitch. Mm. So I don't know. I just like grew up, gave me a lot of confidence. Like it did. It gave yeah. me like a lot of confidence. Like yeah. you can be Fair. anything, like you can do this. Like you don't need to rely on anyone else. Yeah. Like you can be this independent, strong woman. Mm. Like, I, and I feel like I grew up with her, even though she was older than me in the show when yeah. I started watching it. Yeah. I just feel like I grew up with her. Like I yeah. became, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Dawson's Creek, just my second crush, James Van Der Beek. <laughs> I was a Dawson girl. I was a Dawson Look, girl. Look, she made me watch it last year through COVID. Both of them. Both of them. Um, and you loved them. I liked it, but I liked the characters that... That I didn't like. Yeah. We liked opposite characters. Like, she liked Pacey, I liked Dawson. I liked Spike. Angel, she liked Spike. Buffy and Angel forever. <laughs> And I also love Friends, The Nanny, Sex in the City, the end. What would you say to your younger self? I feel like it sort of relates to like what I just talked about. Like mm. I, without going too deep, never felt like I quite fit in. Mm. I always felt like the odd one out. Mm. I um, never felt good enough. Mm. I never felt like I would achieve certain things that I wanted to achieve. Like it was just never, you had to be lucky to do that, you know? Mm. And I would just tell myself, like, just believe in yourself, follow things and don't, I feel like this is so important. Like, don't worry about what other people are going to think. Mm. I just feel like I didn't do so many things earlier in fear of judgment of what people, especially like people you know are going to think of you. Yeah. Okay. So what would I say to my younger self? Um, I think it goes back to like the pressures with family as well. That was one thing that I grew up with a lot and I still deal with it today. Mm. Like um, as in standing up for yourself more? Not even standing up for myself, but like dis disassociating myself from it. Mm. Like even though there's family dramas, like, I don't need to be so attached to that um, because it has affected me in a very... So you would tell your younger self what? Take a step back? Yeah, take a step back and stop feeling pressured by parents, cousins mm. and aunties, uncles, everyone. Yeah. Feels. Yeah. Okay. Is it your turn? My turn. I think it's your turn. It's my turn. Okay. You sure? Sure. What kind of music do you like? Hmm. Um, obviously, I mean, hip hop is the vibe, but yeah, she's a little bit more um, open to me. Look, I mean, hip hop and Michael Bolton. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can't forget Michael Bolton. Um, look, I don't mind like some. No, that's no. R&B and hip hop and Michael <laughs> like. And just like classic pop songs, do you know what I mean? Like from the era that I grew up in. Yeah, I'm I'm an all rounder. Mm. Um, but like I, I most I'm of the not time. not into like she can listen to house, and I'm just yeah. not about it. Yeah, like but I it get bored. Depends on my mood as well. No, for me anyway. Like summer as well. Like I usually listen to more up music like stuff. Like, but through and through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to say something, Jade? <laughs> <laughs> I get all the growing up ones, I'm telling you. Who's someone you looked up to growing up? 
I never really had like a celebrity or like an idol that I looked up to. I think like the people that I looked up to were like in my family. So I had my auntie who was 10 years older than me and then my older cousins, which were boys. They were all boys. They are boys, sorry. <laughs> um, so I looked up to them because, yeah, mum and dad were they always stop. like... stop. I don't yeah. know why. It did just stop too. Yeah, mum and dad was always like, look at your cousins. Look at what they're doing here. Look at what they're doing there. So I always looked up to them. But... Um, I didn't really look up to my cousins. I didn't have many cousins around. I, in terms of, like, celebrities and whatever... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you already said you looked no, up I already the said her. Um, no, Tupac is probably what changed the game for me. Just his lyrics and, you know, the message that he had. I would literally sit there and watch interviews of his from DVDs, like, on repeat. Mm -hmm. And that was also what got me into music. So, I don't know, I just really looked up to him. Not that I ever thought I could, you know, achieve anything he was achieving, but it was mm -hmm. just like... To look up to a positive mm. message. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Are you an introvert or extrovert? <sighs> Go on. We we did discuss this question yesterday. I know I said we they were blind reacts and most of them are, but mm. this we discussed. Yeah. Go on. Because I feel like I'm an introvert, but then when she. She's not. She gave me the facts. She's not. I'll tell I'm you why. <laughs> because, well, A, you're filming a YouTube. Like, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, but, like, that's gone outside of my comfort zone. True, but she has, like, a thousand friends. Like, yeah. before COVID, it was literally like, we're doing this weekend. Oh, I'm going to see Judy and Ken. I'm like, who the hell are Judy and Ken? And she's I don't like, even have friends. Oh, <laughs> my friend that I grew up with in like grade four. Like, this is Susan. Like, she every weekend she's friends up. I've been friends with her for so long, and she's always pulling out these random names. I'm like, yeah. who is that person? Like, she's yeah. not an introvert. Yeah, so I'm um, extrovert. Yeah, yeah. Man, you would be I'm, good. I'm, I'm definitely not an introvert. <laughs> I'm definitely not an introvert. Like, yeah. I like alone time, but, yeah, um, yeah I can talk mm -hmm. to anyone. Mm -hmm. We're almost done. Yep. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Hmm. Physically and... Physically? Yep. Yep. Okay. Physically? Yep. I'm going to say I've got, like, nice hair. You do have beautiful hair. And, like, I'm lucky, like, I, I forget that a lot of people straighten their hair, mm. whereas, like, I just wash mine and the end, that's it. Like, it's straight. Mm. Lucky. Um, Personality-wise, I would say, what do I like about myself? Oh. I love that I, I feel like I bring, like, a happy, energetic vibe. You do. Like... Like, yeah, I, feel I like think the best that. thing about your person, sorry, I know this isn't a valid question, but I just think why not hype your friends up? <laughs> I think the best thing about your personality is that how kind you are. Aww. Like, no, honestly, like she is just the most thoughtful, like I wish I could be as thoughtful as Susan was. Like sometimes she does things. I'm like, why aren't I that nice? <laughs> like, <laughs> like this morning, what did you do? The zinc bag. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That, so that got me so excited. Yeah, mm. so cute. Like, she's a very thoughtful person. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Like, I'm thoughtful, and then she goes, like, another level. <laughs> um, me, physically. Mm. Hard, huh? Mm. Very hard. Um, look, I'm just going to go off what everyone hypes me on, because I'm going to assume that that's the best thing about me, because I don't know, I guess you don't really sit and look at yourself and are like, oh, this is what I love about myself, mm -hmm. which we should, but we don't. Mm -hmm. um, ever since high school, people have always complimented my legs, mm -hmm. which you get compliments on your legs a lot. Mm, I, do. I don't know if they're still quite in the same shape as they were in high school. <laughs> but now you get a lot more compliments on your butt. But I feel like since I start got stopped going to the gym, that's all. That's all. <laughs> when I was going into details about my butt, let's look at the crisis. Stop that there. <laughs> COVID crisis. COVID crisis. But you put that in my head. 
Yeah. <laughs> How long have we literally started doing Pilates? Because we, we said that our butts are getting saggy. saggy. Um, anyway, I'm going red now. Um, and uh, person. Hold on. I'm oh, yeah, like, shit. Sorry. Shh. Personality. What do I like the most about myself personality wise? Mm. Um, shit. Tell me. You're standing up for others. Like you're but that can be a positive and negative. Like, I feel like some people No, but get... you always do it from the goodness of your heart, though. That's like, true. Like, you always, yeah. That's true. Like, don't... Yeah. The squad. Yeah. yeah. Nah, like, don't... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's a good one. Well, so, you, is that going to be... Yeah, yourself? that's going to be your right answer. Yeah, I don't have one. Okay. Well, it's my turn anyway. No. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Do you guys live together? Okay. We? I know we answered that in the intro, pretty much, but it's somebody true. actually asked that question when mm -hmm. I did a question box on Instagram. So, yeah. yes, yes, we live together. We are not breaking any <laughs> rules. Roomies. And it's the best. It's so fun living with your friends. So fun. Just FYI. Mm -hmm. um, if you could go away together... Where would you go and why? I feel like we had this conversation we did. We, whilst we were doing Pilates. Um, I said anywhere that was tropical. Either, what did I say? Like Maldives. You oh, said oh, Hawaii. Yeah. So anyway. um, look, like we did have this discussion. Like mm. we have been to LA together and we love LA. And like if the borders open tomorrow and I could mm. go to LA, like... I'm going to be there. Mm. Um, but I feel like after, also after the, you know, year we've had, it would be so two nice years. to go. So yeah, two years. Mm. It would be so nice to go somewhere and just like chill, switch off. Yeah. Um, Hawaii, Bali. Yeah. Somewhere just like zen. See, like Hawaii is beautiful, but it's more expensive. Mm. If we went to Bali, I'm going to get those mm. massages every day. What is up with you? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> How many left? We've got four, five. Five, I'm the one I've got now. Almost done. Okay. <laughs> What's the worst pickup line you have heard? We had to add this question because Susan's got a really good one. Oh, okay. So this guy comes up to me. He's like, where are you from? I was DJing. Mm. She was at the bar to get us mm -hmm. a drink. Mm. Uh, he asked, where was I from? I said, Southeast. Thinking, you know, southeast suburbs. I didn't want to give him my exact suburb because stalker stats don't want that. <laughs> um, and then he's like, Southeast Asia? Brother. What? No. Yeah, I we, just off. We died for the <laughs> yeah, longest was, time. We that. still do laugh at we that. We still do. Yeah, we still um, do. I honestly can't think of one. Off the top of my head. It's been two years since anyone tried to pick me up. Like, I haven't been anywhere. What do you mean? I honestly don't remember. I don't have a standout one. But I'll tell you, there's been a lot of random ones, mm. like, when I'm DJing especially. Mm. Like, it's just very, very funny when guys think they're going to pick you up while in the middle of your set. Like, yeah, sure. Um, the other ones that I, I get know. is, like, Ni Hao. Like, brother, like, just because I'm Asian, just do because, that. like... That's wild. Or, like, konnichiwa. I think that's Japanese, but... Like, wow. Yeah. I just look at them like... Racist. This is my single. <laughs> Susan's single, by the way. Hit up my DM. <laughs> I'll go through. We have an application. Applicants. Yeah. What is your favourite junk food? <sighs> I don't have a favourite. You have to pick one. How can I categorize this? I'm going to say burgers and chips. That's a good one. Yeah. But you don't have a specific. Mm -mm. I like everything. But what's your favorite burger joint? No, you're making it harder. Well, it's... Okay, it's when I'm question. drunk, it's Macca's. <laughs> when I want a full burger, it's Yomai. Oh, but the American burgers are good too. Which American burgers? The Five Guys. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant like American something here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Five Guys is... Oh, salivating. Um, mine is fish and chips. Mm. Like I'm a That's fish and chips lover. Mm. And I make sandwiches. <laughs> um, I make sandwiches with the fish and chips. So like 
butter, fish, lemon, chips, tomato sauce, vegan mayo. Mm. Try it if you haven't. Wait, it's mine too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the way you took that big well and take a small one. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. What is your biggest fear? I don't even remember this question being on there. Um, mine is ridiculous, but it is real. Crocodiles. I'm so scared of crocodiles. And the fear stemmed, I know where the fear stemmed from. Um, so it's not illogical. We live in Australia. Um, there was one summer when I was like a teenager, like maybe 15, 16, that there was just all these things on the news about crocodile attacks. And there was one specific one, the first one that I saw where it was like these two guys were camping or walking by a river or doing something and a crocodile just came out of the river and grabbed one of the guys and dragged him into the river and the friend watched the crocodile take his friend. He had to climb up a tree because obviously he was like, Shh, it's going to come for me next. Climbed up a tree and was stuck up there for a while, like day, two days or something. And literally had, like had to watch the crocodile eat his friend and was just wow. stuck up there until someone rescued him. So that was just one of them. And then other stuff happened, but that was like the one. And I was like, what? You could just be walking near a river and then that happens. Like, what do you mean? You're also scared of spiders. I'm scared of a lot of things, but that's like my... Look at spiders and... People coming into my house and murdering me. Oh, yeah, that's... Let's see. Any other bugs? Worm? Insert video. <laughs> um, my biggest fear... I've got three. I know exactly what your biggest fear is. Go on. Aliens. That's not my biggest fear. That's my childhood fear. But that is one of them. Yes. She a complaint to me about being scared that aliens were going to abduct her when she left her window open one night. Uh, you were the one that was like, um, why do you sleep with the wind of the blinds open? Because people could look in or things could look in. She put it into my head. Wouldn't you? We live uh, in a double story house where people can literally see in through the, like, imagine you're sleeping and someone's watching you. Yeah. I didn't mean aliens. I meant a human. You said things. And that freaked me out. Anyway, so my biggest fear would have to be either holes. Oh, yeah. The clusters and holes. What's uh, it was called? it tri trypophobia or something like that? Um, and then. It like she can't even cut a capsicum like to help her. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so those are my top two. Um, okay. Mm. What is your Starbucks coffee order? Okay. <laughs> Starbucks is just going to be cold brew with vanilla syrup. But normal coffee? Normal coffee. No, it's your Starbucks order. Okay. That's it. <laughs> cold brew with vanilla syrup all day. Obsessed. Okay, last, last one. Last one. Good. All right, all Imagine right. if it's a shit one. I think it is a shit one. What is something you enjoyed doing by yourself? Oh, <laughs> this is your question. This is a question. If it's a shit one, blame it. <laughs> what do you enjoy doing by yourself? Um, I enjoy doing lots of things by myself because I like my own company. I enjoy um, going on walks, listening to music, watching TV, reading a book, um, uh, praying, um... Walking, lots of things. Walking. Oh, anything. I like doing anything. Eating, shooting, sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> um, I enjoy, my all-time favorite thing to do by myself is to go to the gym. Like, I don't like going to the gym with anyone. Really? Yeah, I always like to go. Noted. Yeah. Go by myself, put my headphones on in, and then just do what I need to do. You want to um, pick up a boyfriend when you're at the gym, don't you? Yeah. You oh, but what? I mean, like, I have like, you yeah. your friends there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I enjoy going for really long walks, like hikes mm. and stuff, by myself or beach walks. But you guys. And I 
get so scared like yeah. a mother. Like, yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. Like, we watched this show last year called I Shouldn't Be Alive. If you've never watched it, I highly recommend it. It's mm. even on YouTube. Mm. And we're of people just doing, getting in dumb situations. Not dumb situations. They're doing activities they like and just tragically things happen to them. And then... And then what? Their roommates have to deal with <laughs> them being lost and dead somewhere. But well, every time I go now, I'm like, I'm, I'm going here. Yeah. And if you don't hear from me in like two hours or three hours. Look after your friends, guys, because yeah. <laughs> you don't want them to watch I Shouldn't Be Alive. Seriously. Good yeah. show. Yeah. But, um, and you'll be prepared. You'll be prepared for a lot. I feel like it prepared me for a lot of things. If I get in... <laughs> Sticky situations now, I know what to do and what not to do. Hmm. I don't know. Questionable. questionable. Yeah, very questionable. Like, I, I feel like when you're in that situation, you're not going to think about that. Yeah. We'll see. Um, well, that's it from us, guys. I hope you liked our first video. We are going to release videos uh, twice a week. Yeah. We haven't decided on the days yet, yeah. so stay tuned. Um, but subscribe. Give us a like. comment. Yeah. Tell us what you want to see from us. Um, and this is Just fun. Like, yeah. High five. We survived. Hey, you know what I heard the other what? day? Let's try it. I what? heard that if you look at the person's elbow, that you get a perfect high five. Put your leg down. Let's try this. Look at your elbow. It works. Wait, do that again. I don't trust it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Because, like, look at your hand. Well, oh, now we're, we're in good. We're, now we're in good <laughs> yeah. position. We're doing it in an awkward position. See, works. Try it. Bye. -bye. <laughs> <laughs> Move to the side. It's on my mind.